love here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you two dresses that I made in June. I can't believe it's July already, but I wanted to share with you two dresses that I made in June. And these are, this is the Dahlia dress by Glass House Patterns. And Glass House Patterns is a new pattern company by Tanya who also has a sewing channel here on YouTube and I've been following her for a couple years now here on YouTube as well as on Instagram and when she announced her um, that she was creating a sewing pattern company I was so excited and then she sent out a call for pattern testers on Instagram so I immediately um, applied for uh, to be a pattern tester and I'm so glad I was chosen to be a tester for this pattern so the and the name of the pattern, again, is called the Dahlia Dress. I don't know if I said that before, but it's called the Dahlia Dress. And it is a wrap dress as well as a skirt pattern. So I sold two versions of this, uh, the dress version. So the dress, um, so I'll show you the first one. So this is, well, actually, this is the second one that I made. So it wraps over, uh, left over right, and it has a cute bow detail. It has three uh, bust pleats in the front. As well as, uh, and it, it's totally a wrap dress, so it's not a full wrap dress. So it ties here on the side with ribbon, and then you tie it over to the right side. So let me show you. I can actually, and, and it's fully lined. Let me show you the purple version that I made. So this is the first version that I made with the cap sleeves, and it's it, the bodice is lined, and this is a polyester crepe. That I picked up in New York City, I believe from Metro Textiles, but I'm not sure. Um, and I picked this up a couple years ago. And so I've made this first version with the polyester crepe. And again, there is, um, you tie it over here with the ribbon. It ties this way. And then you tie it back over to make a bow on the other, on the right hand side. So, I really love this style of dress. This is my first, this is my first time sewing a true wrap dress. I've done a couple of knit full wrap dresses before, but this is the first time I've done a full, completely wrap dress. And I really like this style because it, um, you don't have to worry about it popping open because that has been my fear about sewing a, a true wrap dress pattern, but because of the ribbon right here, it ties very securely, and so you don't have to worry about it flapping open or anything. And she gives good details on how to install the ribbon to, um, to the skirt portion of the pattern. So both of these are fully lined. The second one is a cotton, 100% cotton. I picked up from Fabric Mart Fabrics about two years ago. I went with my sewing class and we drove up to Fabric Mart in Pennsylvania, Sinking Springs, Pennsylvania, where it's located. And I've had this pattern for about two years ago, for two years now. Um, and I love it because it has the big circle, uh, big circles on it and large floral print, but I didn't know what to do with it. So it's been sitting around in my stash for a while, but I knew I wanted to do something really cute with it. And this is perfect for this weather. So a couple of notes on the pattern. So like I said before, it is lined. It comes in a PDF version. is available um, as also as a large print copy shop version. is available in A4 as well as U.S. letter sizes. Um, the U.S. letter print, if you print it on your printer at home, which I generally do, um, is 44 pages. But the cool thing is, she her the way her patterns are set up, you don't have to trim the sides. She has it so it overlaps at uh, triangles. So let me show you. This is um, the flounce version that I have on now. And I'll show you some more pictures of me wearing it and as well as some twirls. But see, the pattern overlaps here at the triangles. So you don't have to, you don't have to trim it first. So see on the back, it's the full, this is the, the full part of the page. So on the back, you just line up the pages and match up the triangles well squares so anyway I love this new style of PDF pattern that she has available in this pattern so uh, is that it 
Yeah, so that's it for this dress. And I'm, the two versions I made again up first, the purple one is with the cap sleeves. And she did make some changes to the bust from the first version to the second version. So this one fits me a little bit better in the bust area. And so her final version has the fit modifications on it. And uh, the second one, it, oh, it also comes in a skirt. It's two skirt patterns, one with a flounce and one without a flounce. So, and it also, you can do the cap sleeve version or a full long sleeve version, as well as the sleeveless version. So there's sleeveless, cap sleeve, long sleeves, skirt version, and a uh, no flounce version. So anyway, and I'll leave a discount code. There's a discount code until uh, July 5th. And I hope you guys get a chance to check out this pattern. And here are some twirls of me wearing the pattern and wearing the dresses in both the purple crepe as well as this cotton woven fabric. Bye-bye.